Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nello here and if this is your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And yes, fun story, like fun fact, I actually filmed this video hours ago, like in the morning. And I've even gone to the market, done a bunch of things, cooked. And I'm about to go and pick up from school and I just remembered because I wanted to start editing and I remember that I didn't film an intro. So this is me filming an intro for the video you guys are about to see. So this is a chit chat get ready with me where I'm going to discuss one important issue that, is, that I feel like is very important that you know women need to just talk about. And also in this video um, I'm going to discuss how I'm going to be collaborating with just YouTubers that are trying to up their subscriber count to like 1,400 thousand watch minutes which is 4,000 watch hours I believe to be able to get monetized just my way of helping I'm going to discuss all that how you can enter everything in this video and also there's a giveaway at the end of this video okay so just watch to the end for all the info and thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment you guys already know the drill at this point and I'll see you guys in the video <music> Okay, so guys, um, I'm going to start by applying my foundation, obviously, and I'll be using the Fenty Beauty foundation. If you watch my vlog, you already know what how I feel about this foundation. So, I'm going to be using it. I like to use my brush to apply it, then go ahead with the Beauty Blender and blend everything in. Just because I don't want to mess up my hand, I pressed it straight to the brush you know what i'm just going to foundation can get very messy so i'm just going to quickly apply the foundation then come back and we'll start the chat whenever i apply this foundation it always looks a bit orange but by the time i use my concealer and every other thing it just comes out very perfect so anyways today i'm just going to be talking about the whole misconception around motherhood or wifehood or womanhood just basically the whole um you know working mothers housewives and the whole shenanigan let me apply my concealer first this concealer is, is a bit neutral i think and because my um foundation comes out a bit orange this just balances it out very well anyways um basically <laughs> we live in a world where you know just women some women just feel like they are more important than other women because of the you know the, the career path they choose or the life path they choose or they just feel that their work is more important than that of other women but the funny thing and one thing that a lot of people don't know and i mean you can't actually know this till you actually become a mother is that the most difficult and i mean the most difficult the most difficult of all these jobs no matter the job you think you might have in this life to me personally the most difficult is actually motherhood motherhood for god's sake is a freaking full-time job full-time in the sense that there are no days off even the days you think you have off you actually don't have off at least for the first 18 years of your kid's life it's like a freaking full-time job and i mean it's all on you how your your children turn out like when it comes to like let's say you have a nine to five or you have your own business or whatever it is that you do like you can start something today do that thing for the next six months see that it's not working or see that you don't like it and you quit and you move on to the next one literally like you can quit your job today and the next day, you know, you're already doing something else. But when it comes to motherhood, there is no quitting. I mean, I guess some people quit and um, abandon their kids or what not. But generally speaking, when it comes to motherhood, there is no quitting. There are no days off. And it's just like a freaking full-time job. Motherhood is so difficult, you guys. Like, if you're not prepared or if you think that... You don't have the strength or even any way you're having having doubts don't have kids because i can tell you now it's not easy there are some days i just look at my kids and all i want to do is dash them to someone literally just dash them to someone and just be done with this stress so anyways going back to what i was saying we'll have to stop looking down on 
you know, other people like the working mothers, the housewives, the this and the that. What's, what's all that? We're all freaking mothers. We, are, we all freaking have jobs. And the funny thing is that in this 2019, personally, like, your girl, I cannot keep a 9 to 5. I'm not even going to lie, okay? I cannot keep a 9 to 5. Not just because I don't want to. I've actually tried 9 to 5 before, believe it or not. I used to work for... <laughs> For a company before but it just didn't go well because i'm the kind of person that i need my time i want my time to myself i need time to do a lot of things i always have things i'm doing on the side like always like since i was in school i always had things i was doing on the side i'm the kind of person that needs my time like if i want to travel if i want to do something i don't want to be taking permission from someone and i'm just not a very good follower if you get what i mean there are some people that are followers some people are leaders some people can do both. Me, I don't want to say I'm a very good leader. I'm just someone that likes to be on my own. It's just that simple. I know it's not particularly very good. Like, even when I was in school, I didn't like group assignment, group work, no. Like, I just wanted to do my own thing, do it well, pass, and just move on. Because whenever you're in a group, like, some people are doing very well, some people are not participating, and I always feel cheated, like, if I'm doing a lot of work and people are not doing so. But if I'm doing it for myself, then... I'm happy, you know. That's not a good thing. No, I'm not actually saying it's a good thing. You have to be a group person. You have to be able to work in a group if you want to keep a 9 to 5. I think it's very vital, but I don't. So it's not really affecting my life in any way. Going back again to what I was saying, I know I just keep going on and off. Nobody is more important than the other that you choose the part of. Do you know how difficult it is to actually, like, stay at home with your kids? You guys... It's the most difficult thing ever. Like when you're working, you have distractions, you have other things to focus on. But people that actually choose not to work and stay with them, because for a lot of people, it's a choice, you know. The one I don't understand is, you know, when your husband forces you to be like just a housewife when you don't want to be. But I know a lot of people that it's actually their choice to stay home with their children because not everyone trusts like helps and all that. And not everyone actually have someone that you know, can help them, family members or something. Some people have the luxury of having their mom live with them or their sister or their cousin or something. So they can afford to actually leave their kids with someone they trust and go out. Some people don't. Yeah, you guys should know that it's the most difficult decision choosing to stay with your kids. Personally, I mean, I don't consider my... Well, see, the thing is, I consider myself a lot of things. I consider myself a working mom. I consider myself a housewife. And I'm proud of the both. When I mean I'm proud, I am very proud of the both. Obviously, like, I have my business. I, I mean, YouTube is a job as well. It pays me, so, you know, it's a job. Some people don't even make up to how much I get from YouTube alone in a month. And, you know, they consider themselves working class wives. Anyways, moving on, um, yes, I consider myself both, you know, I have businesses, I have a physical store where I actually, like, sell things and stuff like that. I don't talk about that much on Instagram just because I'm just doing a whole lot of things now and I'm just trying to figure out the ones I really, really love and the ones, you know, I can, I can do without, if you get what I mean. Anyways, um, yes, I consider myself both. Both, I am a freaking proud housewife. When I mean proud, I mean I'm proud to be able to take care of my kids. I'm proud to be able to wake up in the morning, get my kids ready for school, take them to school. A lot of people that work don't have that luxury. Like they, they really don't. So for me, it's actually a luxury to, you know, just get in. I know like these kids are stressful, but seeing their face every single morning. Some people before, especially like people that live in Lagos, the whole traffic. Before they, their kids wake up, they've already left for work. And by the time they're coming back in the evening, the children are asleep. Don't get me wrong, it's fine that you're, you know, going ambitious and that's okay with you. But personally, it's not something I want to do. You know, I like the fact that I take my kids to school, bring them back, stay with them, play with them, hang out with them if I want to. Literally just do whatever I want, you know with them i know a lot of people working actually wish they could and a lot of people that are just at home with their kids doing nothing else wish they were working so the thing about this life is we always want what we don't have so if you're a stay-at-home mom housewife whatever you want to call it 
then you some people wish they were working then for those working they just wish they were sitting at home see let me tell you people i've mentioned this thing in a video i did like almost two years ago with them but my dream job when i mean dream job my absolute dream job is to just be a housewife see let me tell you there are levels to housewives okay there are levels to stay at home moms so the kind of housewife wants to be, you know, like, I need my husband to be like Dangote or something, okay? And then, see, being a housewife in that situation is a, is a, is a, is a is job, is a work. It's like, do you know, thinking about how to spend money sometimes is hard. Do you know, like, just thinking about where you want to travel to, thinking about where you want to vacation, thinking about choosing which bag to buy or if to buy all of them. It is stressful. You will not know this now. I will not know this now because... I don't have the money, but I believe me when I tell you, it's very, very stressful. I want that to be my problem in life. I just want my problem in life to be like picking where to vacation, what to buy, uh, the buildings to invest in, the it's freaking a uh, uh, community to buy. Like I don't know. I just want that to be my problem in life. So I'm saying that if if a lot of us are to actually choose, we wouldn't want to be working. A lot of people. If they were to choose would not work where they are working today most of them will actually start what they are actually passionate about because a lot of those moms they are working but are they really passionate about what they are doing most of them are just doing it to be able to feed their family and then some people are just lucky enough that you know they are doing business from the comfort of their own homes and able to feed their family with that which is such a luxury like you don't know what you have so don't let anybody wait i'm talking too much let me let me continue make up anyways you guys francis is here it's so awkward making a video when francis is here you guys might not know this but i don't know it's not like i'm shy but i just i don't like someone being someone being where i'm filming basically i just like to film alone get in my zone and just do my work but francis is here he puts his headphones saying that he's not listening to me but i can almost bet that he's even laughing i knew it i can almost bet that he's not listening to anything he's just scrolling through the net and, and listen to what i'm saying anyways um as i was saying i don't even know the eyeshadow i want to do i'm just going to do something very very simple okay as i was saying you guys should not let anybody make you feel a certain kind of way about the path you choose to follow everybody's path is important to them and we all have reasons why you know we choose a particular path that's just the truth about it some of us can't really you can't just tell why somebody else would choose to do what they're doing so as long as you don't know don't judge don't be one of those people looking down on someone because they, they chose a different path than than you did okay Let's learn from that. We are all important. If you're a mother, we are all mothers. If you're a woman, we are all women. Let's just respect that and just basically be happy for each other. Lift each other and and just live a good life, basically. So, guys, I am done with my eyes and I love how this eye makeup is looking. There's another thing I want to talk about is if you watch my last video, you know that um, in my last video, I talked about like YouTube money, how, you know, we get paid here on YouTube and, you know, the whole trying to get to 4K um, watch hours and, you know, all that shenanigans. Anyways, um, so that video actually like, I actually, I'm happy that I made that video because I got a whole lot of comments you know about people tr struggling trying to meet meet the subscriber um which is 1000 subscribers um and uh, what's it called limit not limits 1000 subscriber counts before you are able to monetize or struggling trying to get to 4k watch hours and you know just stuff like that so i have decided that i'm going to start a series here on youtube so i've thought about i've actually been thinking about this for a while before i made that video but you know the video just actually i don't know it made me take it more serious but i don't know how exactly this is going to work but here it is so every month i've decided to collaborate with one upcoming youtuber me i consider myself upcoming anyways but by upcoming here i mean like someone that is still trying to get to 1000 subscribers and increase their watch hours 
so that they are able to get monetized. So every month I'm going to collaborate with one person and I don't know exactly the kind of video or how the collaboration will be, but every month when I pick someone, then I'll discuss with the person how we're going to collaborate to best benefit the person, especially, you know, so that the person can increase their subscriber count and also increase their watch hours. So um, I'm going to be putting out more details on my Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram, please do. I'm going to put my account here right now. So follow me on Instagram, especially, I'm sorry for the noise, I'm hearing bags. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Especially if you're trying to grow here on YouTube. So um, I'm going to be putting out like, will I say requirements or what you have to do to be picked every month on Instagram. So because I can't make a video every time I want to pick someone. So all the details are going to be on Instagram. So please follow Nello KK on Instagram as you guys are seeing down here. And yes, so when I pick someone every month, I'll discuss with the person, obviously the kind of videos the person makes and the kind of video I make, we're going to take into account and decide what we're going to do. If you're in a different state than I am, don't worry, it's not a problem. There are so many different ways that um, YouTubers collaborate with each other. You don't always have to be in the exact same city to be able to collaborate. And you guys, please, when I put up those videos where I collaborate with a person, Please, please, please make sure to go to the person's channel and watch their video to support the person and also subscribe because that's really the whole point of this whole series. It's for you guys, my subscribers, to be able to subscribe to the person and like the person's video and comment on the person's video and just increase engagement for them just so that they can get paid because YouTube is hard work, you guys. If you're a YouTuber or have a YouTuber friend, believe me, it's a lot of work. So if what you know able to get paid for this hard work then it makes it even worth it the what's it more basically like i said in that video when you're a small youtuber i know how hard it is to get someone to actually like collaborate with you because when like true story yeah when i had like 2000 subscribers and mind you i already had like 2000 subscribers i actually emailed like two different youtubers that had about like 10k at the moment i didn't try to email people that had way more than me but they had like 10k at the moment trying to ask like if they would like to collaborate not only did i not get the reply yeah nothing like no reply no word whatsoever they just pretended like they did not see it so believe me when i say I know how hard it is to get someone to collaborate to help you and at the end of the day it doesn't mean that oh when we collaborate you're suddenly going to get to 1000 subscribers no it doesn't mean that but i mean even if out of the few thousand people that get to watch the video you get extra 100 people subscribing to your channel is something if you get 50 people that subscribe is something if you get 200 is something no matter how many subscribers you get is something is extra help that you know we wouldn't have gotten if you didn't do the collaboration so enter if you want to be part of this and yes i can't wait i'm actually excited it's exciting me because i just know how happy it's going to make someone or some people so when you're making people happy it's just there's just something good about making other people happy so guys, before I end this video, let me go ahead and talk about the giveaway, which I'm sure most of you are interested in. Anyways, I'm going to be giving away two pairs of yearly footwear, two pairs to two different people. And yes, if you know me, you know I love yearly footwear. I've put them on my YouTube channel a number of times and on my Instagram. I always post about them. Not a paid uh, post, not sponsored in any way, just because the brand is amazing and I know the owner and, you know, she's my friend and of course, I'm going to support her brand and, you know, yes, I absolutely love everything they make. So, we're collaborating today to do a giveaway for you guys. If you want to win, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and head on to Instagram and follow me and Yili Footwear on Instagram. I'm going to put our Instagram handles on the screen right now. Just follow the two of us. And if you want, you know, an extra chance of winning, go to one of their pictures of the sandals or slippers or what it is you want to win and just comment, I would like to win this pair from Nello KK's channel. Okay, just comment that and we're going to be choosing two people at random to win 
uh, two pairs of their choice i'm going to show you guys sample pictures of what they have to offer on the screen right now and as you can see they have amazing pair very unique and very very strong original leather like i'm not just praising this brand because i know the person that owns it but because i have tried and tested this product for the past three years now i believe i've been using i've been wearing really footwear and no complaint whatsoever so if you would like to win just go ahead to instagram follow and comment on their picture okay that brings us to the end of this video i actually absolutely love how this look came about like oh jesus can, can you can, can you guys see this can you just see this face i feel like this fancy foundation is just holy grail like i do my makeup normally it looks good but i I don't think my makeup looks this good or my skin looks this good on a normal day when I use other foundations. That might just be my head because I love Rihanna and I'm just being biased. But then again, the foundation is amazing. And I just love how this look came out. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yes, don't forget to enter for the giveaway and don't forget to enter to be able to collaborate with me if you're interested and also what i discussed in the video what do you guys think have you had any experience with someone trying to be more important than you because they chose a certain career different than what you chose and whatnot just let me know all your thoughts don't forget leave a comment down below subscribe like share and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys